So if you've ever been experiencing problems like leaks or your base plate not fitting correctly or being changed to a convex and then being given one of these by your stoma nurse and thinking, oh my god, how on earth do I use that? I'm going to give you a quick lesson today on how to use the Ekin Cohesive Slim. Now I use the Slim because my stoma is quite small and my stoma is quite flush to the skin when it wants to be. So the deeper, the deeper, deeper uh, cohesive for me uh, by Ekin isn't always convenient. So I'm just going to show you how I do, how I apply these. So I've tried many a barrier ring on the market and for me this is the best one. So you take it out of the box, I rip. I wrap around my stoma site and then I put my bag on and it's as easy as that so with the um, cohesive slim I've it's extended my bag wear from two to three days up to seven days for a base plate with a two-piece bag and between three to four with a one piece. Um, I normally change my one, ple one piece normally purely just because of showering and the bag getting wet and not overly having the time to dry it off. So it's as easy as that. Simplicity is key. For those of you that have sat there with barrier rings, try to mold them to the shape of your stoma site. Um, try to get them round. Got frustrated, they've lo lose, lose their tackiness because they've not stuck. The Ekin works for me. It may work for you, so um, give it a try. So it is, I just literally rip, wrap, put on my stoma, put around my stoma. And the reason why I do that as well is because I get a closer seal. I find with having to mold the ring out to my stoma size that um, I never quite get the seal as close to the stoma as what it wants it to be. So I end up with um, a small red ring around my stoma site. So yeah, literally rip, wrap, simplicity is key. And that is how I apply a barrier ring. So thanks for watching, bye.